George III, George William Frederick, the 4th of June 1738, the 29th of January 1820 was the King of Great Britain and Ireland from the 25th of October 1760 until the union of the two countries on the 1st of January 1801, after which he was King of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland until his death. He was concurrently Duke and Prince Elector of Brunswick Lunenburg. Hanover in the Holy Roman Empire until his promotion to King of Hanover on the 12th of October 1814. He was the third British monarch of the House of Hanover, but unlike his two predecessors he was born in Britain, spoke English as his first language, and never visited Hanover. His life and reign, which were longer than any other British monarch before him, were marked by a series of military conflicts involving his kingdoms much of the rest of Europe, and places farther afield in Africa, the Americas and Asia. Early in his reign, Great Britain defeated France in the Seven Years' War, becoming the dominant European power in North America and India. However, many of Britain's American colonies were soon lost in the American Revolutionary War. Further wars against revolutionary and Napoleonic France from 1793 concluded in the defeat of Napoleon at the Battle of Waterloo in 1815. In the later part of his life, George III had recurrent, and eventually permanent, mental illness. Although it has since been suggested that he had the blood disease porphyria, the cause of his illness remains unknown. After a final relapse in 1810, a regency was established and George III's eldest son, George, Prince of Wales, ruled as Prince Regent. On George III's death, the Prince Regent succeeded his father as George IV. Historical analysis of George III's life has gone through a kaleidoscope of changing views that have depended heavily on the prejudices of his biographers and the sources available to them.